The M100 ballot tabulator setup will be covered in this presentation. Some precincts will combine the AutoMark and the M100 ballot tabulator duties. In this presentation, items that will be covered are how to set up and turn on the M100, where to find supplies and instructions, securing the keys, returning materials. This is a sample of a polling place setup. Note that the tabulator is situated near the door so voters can deposit their ballot and exit the polling place. At the voters' request, two election judges from different major political parties may help mark the ballot. When assisting, be sensitive to their specific needs, avoid influencing how they vote, do not give advice or reveal how they voted. Direct all questions to the voter, not to others with them. Help only as much as requested. A voter may have assistance from others of their choosing. The assistant may help the voter in the polling place, including the voting booth. The exceptions are an agent of their employer cannot assist the voter. A union or candidate cannot assist the voter. An assistant can only physically mark ballots for a maximum of three voters for each election. They may provide other forms of assistance apart from physically marking the ballots. If an assistant has marked the ballot on behalf of the voter, the voter may show it to an election judge privately to confirm it is correctly marked before placing it in the tabulator. More information can be found in the election judge guide. The M100 and AutoMark supply bag will be provided to you by your head judge. The supply bag will include the M100 and AutoMark setup instructions, signs to be posted, an incident log, and I voted stickers. An instruction sheet is located in your judge supply bag. Follow these instructions carefully to ensure your M100 will be in operation when the polls open at 7 a.m. Unlock the three compartments of the ballot box and make sure they are completely empty. Lock the three compartments before voting begins at 7 a.m. In November, write-ins are allowed. A write-in ballot will be found in the right side of the ballot box. An easy way to remember this is, write-ins go right. On top of the ballot box, you must open the lift to operate flap. This notation is found on the yellow label. If this flap is not open, the first ballot of the day will be unable to go into the ballot box. An error message will display. Slide tabulator back and lift up flap. To slide the tabulator on the track of the ballot box, you must unlock and lower the flap. Lift the tabulator out of the small black case and place it a fourth of the way over the tracks on the ballot box. Slide the tabulator forward until it drops down. Insert the power cord into the round slot on the left side of the ballot box up through the open slot and attach to the back of the tabulator. Plug the cord into a wall outlet. Do not plug anything else into the same outlet. Give the tabulator a good push, making sure the connection prongs line up. Push the tabulator until it connects with the prongs located on the right side of the ballot box. Make sure you have a good connection or the diverter inside the ballot box will not work properly. Can you see the yellow label? If yes, you will need to start over. Pull the tabulator ahead and open the flap. Turning on the tabulator. To open the key compartment, push and lift the ridged area on the top left side of the tabulator. Lift the panel in front of the key area by pushing the ridged area on the back of this panel. Push and lift to reveal the paper roll. This panel is not on a hinge and will need to be set aside. Turn the key to your right to open close poles. The tabulator will take about 30 seconds to boot up. The message screen will show open polls now. Push the button below yes. 
If you do not get this message, contact Blue Earth County Elections immediately. The tabulator will then prompt you to turn the key to vote. Listen for the ballot box diverter to initialize. It will make this grinding noise. If you do not hear it, your tabulator is not connected to the prongs on the back of the ballot box. If this happens, slide the tabulator ahead. Check that the prongs are not bent and push tabulator into ballot box prongs. If prongs are bent, call Blue Earth County Elections immediately. Your zero tape will print and election judges must verify the tape shows your precinct name and all zeros. Compare that the candidate order on the tape is the same as the candidate order on the ballots. Record the seal number located on the front of the tabulator. You will need to enter this number on the zero tape after it prints. Record the seal number where indicated on the tape. All judges must sign, roll or fold the tape, and leave this attached until the end of the night. Remove the key by pulling straight up. Give the keys to your head judge. Replace both covers on the tabulator. To secure the memory card, lift up and lock the front flap. If the tabulator stops working, the head judge calls Blue Earth County Elections. Do not keep the voters waiting. Immediately open the emergency slot on the ballot box. This slot lets voters drop their ballot into the ballot box without being counted by the machine. Explain to the voters that once the ballot counter is operating, election judges will process them through the ballot counter. The emergency slot should be locked during voting hours unless the tabulator stops working. More details are in your election judge guide. The tabulator screen must show zero. You are now ready for your first voter. The M100 judge ensures voters stay six feet from the tabulator, instructs voters how to insert the ballot, responds to tabulator error messages. The M100 judge must be able to hear the message alert. Listen to this demonstration of a ballot inserted in the message alert. Now offer the voter an I Voted sticker. Any unusual incidents should be reported on your incident log. Print the voter's name, detailing the situation and resolution. If you think you should write it down, do so. Let your head judge know of any incidents as they occur. Do not wait until the end of the day or the day after the election. At the end of the night, give your head judge your incident log. If you are fortunate enough not to have any incidents, write none across the form. Precincts with a high voter turnout may remove or straighten voted ballots. Two election judges of different political parties may open the ballot box on election day to straighten or remove ballots. These two judges shall not count or inspect the ballots. See election judge guide for further information regarding removing and storing ballots. Return the following unused items in your judge bag. M100 and auto mark instructions, signs, I voted stickers. The tabulator judge must have good hearing. Setting up and turning on the tabulator is your first priority. Verify the machine is plugged into a working outlet. Your supplies and instructions are located in the M100 and auto mark supply bag. The judge's signatures and the tabulator seal number must be written on the zero tape. The key shall be kept by the head judge. Completed forms are returned in the blue bag. Seal is broken and the memory card is removed. Place memory card and seal in the appropriate baggies to be returned in envelope A. Instructions and unused supplies are returned in your judge supply bag. Equipment is returned. City of Mankato precincts, put your equipment back in the secured area where you found them.
If you have any problems setting up in the morning or issues during the day, please contact Blue Earth County Elections immediately.